Hello everyone, welcome to episode three of Photo of a Day, the series which I take my old photographs and tell you a bit about them and how they came about. Firstly, thank you to everybody who subscribed, watched my actual videos, stopped me in the street, in the supermarket to tell me that they liked it. Also, thank you to all those people who didn't like it, who didn't say anything. As my mum would say, if you can't say anything nice, then f <laughs> uh, She doesn't say that. This week I've got a really nice photo, a bit of an adventure that I went on with my friend Lee. Look up Lee on Instagram, he's a really good photographer and video guy, he's got all of the toys, he's got a drone, he's got gimbals and I really enjoy going out with him. I'd like to say we went on put on this epic snowshoe hike to the top of the mountain for sunrise but actually we just drove up and we walked, um, it's, it's not even a hike, we walked up a drag lift track to get to where we wanted to take the photos. And then we just sort of like started scouting around. Now I found it really difficult to find a photo. I was wandering about the hill for quite a while in the dark with my head torch on. Had a flask of coffee, I took a few photographs. They were pretty average. Wasn't really finding the compositions that I wanted. I got this really nice pano actually. I say really nice, but it's not actually that nice. It's just something meh about it, like the colours are nice in the sky. I spent quite a lot of time photographing the side of this hut trying to get the flag blowing out in the, in the breeze that was blowing, but again, nothing really happening there, it wasn't a great photo. I was sort of almost ready to give up really, because like, it was, there was nothing really happening that good, but then the colours started looking really nice in the sky. I got this photo of the top of the lift station with the empty piece in front, which was quite nice. And you can see in the corner, the moon just sort of coming up above that tree. So I snapped off a few photos there and I came up with this photograph. It's a pretty simple photograph, really. It's a tree with a moon above it, but obviously the colors in the sky are amazing with the, the sunrise. Um, and I quite like the way that the sort of blue reflections of the snow contrast with the, the pinks and the oranges and the yellows in the sky. I've got a bit of a confession to make about this photo. I did edit it a little bit sneakily. It really annoyed me that the moon was just slightly, very, very tiny amount, not lined up with the top of the tree. And so I moved the moon. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I moved the moon. It was just with a little bit of one of those OCD things. The moon's quite bright. The moon's way brighter than you normally you would expect actually when you're taking photos of it. You have to like crank it down quite a lot to get any detail of the craters and all that kind of stuff. So as I was editing it, I had to sort of bring up the levels of the the rest of the photo and keep the levels of the moon the same to keep the detail in there. But I think it's worked out quite well. I'm actually really pleased with how that turned out. It's a very simple photo. What would I change about it? I guess the, the tree's not that interesting, but that's what I had to work with. That was what the scene was, that was where the moon was. So overall, I'm happy with it. Also, it got picked up by a local magazine that's produced here in Morzine, and they put it on their Instagram, and it went crazy. I got loads of likes on it, so that was a bonus for getting up early and doing that. We'd taken our snowboards up, obviously, so honestly, there is nothing better than riding down a perfectly groomed, untouched piece in the morning after you've been on a bit of a photo mission. It was absolutely outrageous. So that's this week's photo. Let me know what you think. Um, what do you think about moving the moon slightly? Is that allowed? Is that totally not cool? I don't know, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing if you have. Um, if you haven't, maybe subscribe if you want. It's up to you, you're an adult, you can make your own decisions. Um, look me up on Instagram if you like, and I will see you next time in a non-cheesy fashion. Cheers then.